What's going on guys, Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me and let's get into it. All right, so we're on Rolling Stone and uh, they've got this article up. I've seen several articles like Deadline and all these uh, different uh, magazines have reviewed Taylor Swift's new album, The Tortured Poets Department. And it seems like all the the media people that are reviewing the album, uh, they don't like it. They don't enjoy it. They they're all saying the same things. And I mean, you can see from the uh, headline here. Taylor Swift and Jack Antonoff have reached their limit. Both artists have worked on every single album Swift has released since 2014 and their latest batch of songs on the tortured poets department finds their collaborative well completely drained. Now, like I said, I've seen several different reviews. There was one on Yahoo and all this. And it does seem to have a lot of negative reviews. The fans are still behind Taylor. She sold 1.4 million units in 24 hours so you know the fans are still supporting taylor but a lot of the different reviews i've read is you know she she's not saying anything new she's talking about exes you know little subliminals here um she you know she she uh did have a fu kim line in one of the songs that was obviously a shot at Kim Kardashian. I don't know of any other Kim she is uh, uh, having a war of words with. So, um, And because of that, you know, that was actually kind of funny. The Kim Kardashian thing, um, when she was married to Kanye West, Kim Kardashian filmed her husband having a conversation with Taylor. And I know they used it for the TV show or whatever. And there's clips of it on YouTube and it was on Instagram, different things. But I listened, I went back and listened to that call that she had with Kanye West. Um, and that started their thing when he put that song Famous out. And, um, you know, I've kind of, you know, I've changed my opinion on Kanye West because I was definitely on Kanye's side at first. But then as the as the years have gone by and, and Taylor explained more of her side, I kind of saw what she was saying, because when I went back and watched the clip, I did notice that what Taylor was saying was the truth. Like Kanye, he's you know, he's making sure the reason he's calling her is he's making sure he's like, hey, I'm mentioning you on this rap song that I'm putting on my album. And, I, you know, we're friends. I want to make sure you're cool with it before we put it out. And she was like, you put me on a song, you know, and he's telling her. And then he said, well, the reason I'm calling you is cause the song is saying that, you know, I made you famous and you owe me sex and stuff like that, you know, and he's explaining the premise of the song and he starts rapping the lyrics to her. And he, um, you know, and Taylor, she came out and she was like, they never told me that this was what the song was going to be about. And that's why Kim hit the whammy on her and put that video out of Kanye talking to her. And, you know, she was on speakerphone and she's talking to Kanye and they're laughing and they're having a good time. And the song came out and she's like, yo, you lied to me and blah, blah, blah. But when Taylor came back and explained it, her whole thing was, there's a line in there where he refers to her as a bitch and all this. And she definitely wasn't cool with that. And when you watch the video, when it comes to the part where he's reading the lyrics and he, when he's supposed to say, I made that bitch famous, he skips over that. When you watch. <laughs> so he, he, he throws in the part about her owing him sex, but he doesn't mention the part where he says, I made that bitch famous. And she was like, I definitely didn't agree to have you call me a bitch on the song. And and when you listen to the video, he, she never agreed to that. She, she thought the sex thing was funny, but she didn't, you know, the whole thing. So that started their little feud. So that's why I guess, um, she got mad. She, she still has some resentment towards Kim Kardashian. Obviously she's not cool with Kanye West anymore. That's that thing's been, and, and Kanye mentions her all the time. Uh, um, you know, she's obviously talking about 
different things. But like I said, she's not reinventing the wheel here. I'm not going to pretend like it is. But I've been I've been listening to this album. I thought I think this album is solid. It's super solid. I'm like, I'm not listening to any tracks and like, oh, she could have kept that one. I'm listening to that track and I go to the next track and the next track and I'm I'm really enjoying it. Is she saying, you know, she's got a nice tone to her voice. The songs are very well produced. I'm enjoying what I'm hearing. I'm, you know, sometimes when I hear her uh, drop a F-bomb on the song, it, it's still shocking because, um, you know, I'm in Tennessee. Taylor Swift, you know, she went to Hendersonville High. Uh, you know, she, you know, I think she came when they, they came to Tennessee when she was like 12 or 13 or whatever. But I know she went to she went to Hendersonville High and I've been to Hendersonville so many times. It's so close to where, you know, I'm here in the Nashville area and it's, you know, it's I've been to Hendersonville dozens of times. I can't even. But she went to Hendersonville High. She used to appear on our local radio stations all the time. I used to hear her on like the country station or she'd be on one Oh seven, five, the river, you know, she used to appear when she was, you know, she wasn't even 18 and she used to appear and uh, do interviews with the DJ. She sometimes she'd perform live songs. She used to do this. So I, I, you know, I was listening to her, you know, I was like in my twenties and I was listening to her and that kind of deal. So, uh, it's, um, it's, you know, I know she she's gotten older, so it it it, it sometimes when I hear her say a f bomb, it still surprises me. I think the first time I heard her swear on a song was uh, when I listened to All Too Well, and she said f the patriarchy, and that was but that was year. What was that that song? What, four or five years ago at least. But that was that's the first time I heard her uh you and obviously like I said, she's got a couple F bombs on this record. Um, you know, she's talking about sex. She's uh, you know, you know, she's it's more mature, but she's been doing more mature stuff for a few albums now. But yeah, it's it's still every now and again it's still be like, I was like, Can I listen to this? But I mean she's thirty four now, so yeah, she's talking about having sex. She, you know, there's a thing in there where she uh, told her dad that she was pregnant and then, you know, and then she let him off the hook and told him she was just joking, you know, different things like that. And, um, but either way, I enjoyed the album. I think this is a good listen. Um, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of people are saying Taylor Swift sounds like Taylor Swift. Oh, there's a shocker. I mean, you know, that's what it is. So you know what you know what you're getting into. If the songs were bad, I'd be like, ah, okay, she she probably need to scrap this one and and chalk it up again. But I I really uh, I've enjoyed at least there's 31 songs on my Spotify thing. <laughs> so this this because uh, when she first released it, I got a ding on my you know I've got my Spotify on my phone and it ding up oh, Taylor Swift's new album's out. So she put it out, and then like two hours later. She sent out a tweet and she was like, there's a surprise. There's 15 more songs. So that upped the count, obviously. And like I said, it's a 31 track album. And some people are like, it's too long. You got too many songs and you're not saying anything new. You're just talking about guys doing stuff to you and you're mad at them and different things. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I've been, I am, I'm enjoying the, listening to the album and I'm going to continue to absorb it. But there's little things there. But uh, I, like I said, she she's she's about to when the when the new Billboard chart comes out, she's going to have the number one album and deservedly. So I think it's I think it's a solid album. I've enjoyed it. But uh, if you if you listen to it, um, do you think that Rolling Stone and all these other places that have criticized the album are valid or if you think they're just hating? Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, give me a follow. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads all at Akari Press. And if you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. I've got the link to that and the link to my gum road in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening and liking the videos. I appreciate your support. I'm out.